Hey there YouTube, I am posting a video on my uh, toy hauler. The back gate door has been cracking at the very bottom for quite some time and I decided to get in there and see if I could fix it. So what I'm doing is I'm notching out here the bottom. There was two stupid little aluminum square tubes that went across the bottom here. And they only had one stupid weld on each one, so eventually it fails. Uh, welcome to cheap built crap. But I'm going to modify it and hopefully fix it. So I'm going to notch out. I notched out some foam here and it wasn't enough, so I'm notching out some more to um, put a tube of tin uh, treated in there. So that goes on to the back of my toy hauler here. And this is uh, going to be a fun little project, but kind of sucks, but I don't know. I'm going to make it better, hopefully. But um, I tried gluing 2x6 uh, down there, and that just kept flexing as well. So I'm actually going to put some dowel pins in and dowel it in this way. Um, and then dowel it into the 2x10. The and see if we can get that flex out of there. Um, so hopefully this works and I will uh, shoot the video um, here on the end. Okay, we are back. You can see the tube of tin I cut and then I run some pins in it. So those pins are going to go up through the foam in there to, to secure that so it doesn't uh, bend anymore. Plus I put the tube of tin in and I'm going to glue all this in here. And then I mounted the little piece on the bottom. The reason you do that is because there's not enough tube of tin material to um, do that. So you have to mount this piece on the bottom to be able to get it uh, without the, the bottom of it snapping out so that's where we're at right now cut all that foam out there and cleaned it all up getting ready to glue it and stick it in I'm gonna use some tie straps going around the door to suck it down tight and then I'm gonna be able to screw it in on the sides screw it in this way with these long screws these are like five inch screws so they'll screw all the way into there like so I put like five of them in there and then once it's glued and screwed uh, that, that should do it so I will come back when I get that all put together okay there it is the tube of tin here is in Got the little metal piece all screwed in. Got all them screws, five inch screws down through there. Put some through the bottom plate. I see a little better on this side. But that should pretty much do the job right there, I would think. That's Plus I've got those dowels that run up through there's four of them. There's one on each end, and then there's two towards the middle that uh, will help that keep from flexing like it used to. So we'll put it on and see how it goes. Okay, and we're back. Time to test out the uh, door, and hopefully it does not snap off on me. <laughs> There you have it. Repair complete. That makes a huge difference. No more flexing down there. It's solid as a rock. So, I had to go fix the crappy uh, job that they did from the factory on this toy hauler and um, just put a 2x10 down in there and screwed it all together and it was not a super super fun project but I got her done 
and very happy with the results. So make sure you subscribe to my page down there and uh, keep watching my YouTubes and hopefully I got something out there that'll help you.